Hey there everybody, this is David, and welcome back to Tactics Ogre, Knight of the Lotus. Today we are going to be going to Aquila. Buddy the Oak. This heat! Is there no other way? This is the shortest route. We can't afford to let the White Fang troops arrive before us. Watch your step. There's lava everywhere. This is it. Somewhere in this area, east of Aquila, where the midsummer sun warms the ocean. All right, David. Please hand her over to us. Richter, how? You're Eleanor, aren't you? Father Hammond asked us to find you. He's been very worried since you disappeared. Father. Eleanor, please come home. You haven't done anything wrong. That man must have said something to you, right? Come on, let's go back to the church together. Eleanor, do you want to go back? Don't say anything to her. This is between me and her. She's like a daughter to me. You've nothing to do with this. Why did you tempt her in the first place? Listen, Eleanor. I hated the idea from the beginning, but you were so kind that you insisted that we save the man who had washed up on the beach. Father, forgive me, but I'm not coming back to the church. I'm thankful for what you've done, but I want to be with him. Ugh, poor Eleanor. You're confused because of him. Please snap out of it. Don't you understand that I love you more than anyone? Stop it! Think about what you're doing! Why do you come between us? I do this because I love her. I don't want to have to chastise her. This is what's best for her. Now, give my Eleanor back to me. Do you think that you can change her mind with violence? There's no way I'll let you have her. She came out of here of her own free will, and I'm glad she's by my side. You can't change that. And what about you military men? You've always determined people's futures by force. Commander Lasanti, please. She's my daughter. Please take her back from that reckless youth. Calm down, Father Hamann. I understand your concern, but the wind here is strong and dangerous. Please stand back and leave this to us. I was looking for a girl who knows about mermaids, and here I find you again. Listen, I don't know how much information you have, but if the stories I've heard are true, then the sacred spear... Longholness is no ordinary spear. Longholness? Ha! Huh. You don't even know the name of what you seek. That woman has not been truthful with you. The sacred spear, Longholness, the legendary spear fashioned by God from the horn of a fallen angel. It has pierced even the sacred demon. Mermaids are unworthy of holding such power. How do you know so much about the sacred spear? Did you seriously believe that our mission was to investigate and drive out the White Fang troops that invaded this island? Just give her to me already. You don't want to cause trouble, do you? Maybe you've taken a liking to her, but we need her more than you. You may not know this, but her mother is the mermaid who stole the sacred spear. Eleanor? The child of a mermaid? Eleanor! Have you forgotten my warning? Get in the way and you'll be regarded as my enemy. No! Eleanor, the light, is it from your necklace? Oh no, David, I... I... Great, more of them are coming. Can you swim? I'm not much of a swimmer. Oh, 
Golden Mermaid. Bravera. You protected Eleanor. Thank you. Tell me, are you really Eleanor's mother? Well, perhaps the time has come to tell you the truth. Eleanor, you're not my daughter. You were born a human child. Four hundred years ago, during the war, I met a man who was opposed to the war. He was gentle and kind, but he was still a human and an enemy of mermaids. I feared for his life, so I took the sacred spear in hopes of ending the war. I sacrificed many mermaid lives by doing so. Back then, passion overruled my reasoning. I abandoned the home of mermaids and lived secretly with my love, Lucius. However, it wasn't long before he passed away. The lifespan of humans is much shorter than ours. After his death, I left that place, taking the sacred spear with me. It was too difficult for me to remain in a place that reminded me of him. However, since I have betrayed my kind, I didn't have anywhere to go. I lacked even the courage to take my own life. I wandered the eastern sea, searching for a way to repent. For the last few hundred years, I've lived here, alone. For hundreds of years? All by yourself? About ten years ago, soldiers landed on the south side of this island. They surrounded a nearby town and burned it down. While I watched from the ocean, I heard crying. I found a newborn baby wrapped in a blanket. That was me? Holding you in my arms, you were so adorable. But I was afraid that she wouldn't be able to adjust to society if I raised her. I knew that I couldn't keep her. So I asked a couple in a northern village to look after her. I don't remember well, but the scent of the ocean and the sound of the crashing waves. When I saw you at the beach by the village, you seemed so familiar. I didn't think that you'd remember me since you were so small. I used to hold you and watch the dawn from Aquila Beach. Eleanor, I'm sorry you had such a hard life. Don't be. My step-parents in Sotavento treated me very well. Thank you, Barivra. Eleanor told me that you're really looking for the Sacred Spear. I've also heard that this island has many visitors recently. Can you tell me why you're looking for it? Because of a promise I made to someone, someone who I have a lot of faith in, many people are fighting to gain control of the spear. For that reason, the lives of this island's inhabitants have been threatened. I can't let anyone have it. I promised to bring the spear back to Galliash before its power can be abused. I hid it in a small shrine at a beach north of here. Since you saved Eleanor, I'll entrust the spear to you. Please don't misuse it. I promise not to, Marivra. And I have a message the leader of the Mervings. She said to tell you that they're no longer angry, and that they await your return. Oh, Clareri. Victor Lasante, visiting as a representative of Bellis, announced in the month of Oceano that the White Fang troops of, of Ranunculus had withdrawn from Amster. Although the plans of the patrols and their troops were never discovered, since they had retreated, the issue was assumed to have been resolved. For the time being, the Order of the Sacred Flame was stationed in Scabellum, preparing to return to Bellis. Meanwhile, after meeting with the Golden Mermaid, Beravra, David and Eleanor rejoined Sybil. David and the others were stationed at Fermita, the former strongholds of the troops of Ranunculus, researching the history of the spear. The patrols have a long history on this island. They rose to power after the war with the mermaids and relocated to the northern part of the island. It would come as no surprise if the heirs of the patrols knew of the sacred spear. The island's stormy season was quickly coming to an end, and it would soon be replaced by a calmer all autumn weather. Is that true? Richter's heading north? It's true. We know that he took a few subordinates with him and headed to Naja, but we don't know his purpose or current location. As for the rest of his troops, it seems that they'll be returning to Fellas as soon as the ship comes. He must be acting on his own. That means Fellas was also looking for the spear. Yes, 
Richter admitted as much. He said his troops had a different mission from the beginning, but how much of this does the Church of Lotus really know? Since we have no way of knowing the true power of the spear, all it can do for now is make assumptions. The Duke of Felis obtains the spear and doesn't hand it over to the Church. It's possible that the Church elders will send troops to arrest him for treason. Then, a war is sure to start. We can't afford to have internal conflict. That'll leave Ovis defenseless to an outside invasion. It only takes a small spark to start a flame. The Duke may have already learned of our presence on this island. I'm sure he's been doing his research. But if we can get the spear first, then it's over for him. Because of the church, he's had to do his treasure hunting in secret. If the White Fang troops hadn't invaded the south, and the Duke of Fellas couldn't have sent his troops here, that means... Dispatching you here could have been part of the plan. The Lord of Ranunculus and the Duke of Fellas may have been in communication with each other. It is a possibility. But then, some things don't make sense. If they were cooperating, why was they captured at Firmino? And why would Victor follow the White Fang troops to, to Orodella? I think that the Duke of Fellas and the Lord of the North are pursuing different goals, but we don't have enough information to be certain. Ivana, can you offer any insight? I've never heard anything about a sacred spear, but I do recall a story about a family member who fell in love with a mermaid 400 years ago. He supposedly cut ties with her family and ran away with her. Was his name Lucius? Maybe. He was considered such a coward because of his fear of war that we hardly talked about him, so I don't remember much. If a member of the Patrol family had a relationship with Bereavra, then it's no surprise that they know about the sacred spear. There's one other thing that we can't forget. Fifteen years ago, when William Patrol passed away due to illness, his brother Nera succeeded him. So, which Patrol was the Duke in contact with? William or Nerys? And is Richter just doing as his father told him to? Either way, the information we've gained from Bereaver only gives us a small advantage of I haven't told anyone about the Sacred Spear, not even you. Eleanor has been with me the whole time, so I'm sure she hasn't either. I plan to keep my promise to Bereaver. Don't worry about it, but sitting around won't get us nowhere. Do we have any other information? We've learned that there are survivors secretly living in Bleth, the village that was burnt down during the Reformation. Perhaps they know something useful. Also, there's a skilled spellcaster living by the ruins north of Tinea. If we can convince him to assist us, it would surely be to our advantage. But, we heard that he's an unusual fellow. Maybe Richter had a different purpose for going north. Let's head that way for the time being. Everybody, get ready. Heading north? Through the Naja Forest? Yes. The shrine on the beach where Bereaver hid the spear, the report about Richter going to Naja, the mysterious death of the, for the former Lord William, and the reformation to Lotusism fifteen years ago. Every clue points to Ranunculus. The north side of the forest is very different from this side. There, it starts snowing at the end of fall, and the ground is usually covered with deep snow. Do you still want to go there? Well, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I need to find out what Richter's been scheming. You know, I'm not very anxious to go there. David, I don't think you could ever understand how scary it was escaping from the forest. It was so dark, and I got lost so many times. I hate snow. The snow is so cold and harsh, and it hides everything in existence. Eleanor, you're not alone anymore. But if you really don't want to come, you can stay behind. That's even worse! I'm sorry, David. Sorry for being so selfish. I know I've said this before, but I don't want to be a burden. I want to be strong so I can fight by your side. David, I want to be acknowledged as a soldier. I want to be your comrade. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. With us being together, I guess I took things for granted. You don't have to understand everything all at once, just little by little. Let's go together, Eleanor. Thank you, David. Please watch over me. That's sweet. Okay. 
Looks like we have Grillis opened up to us, but looks like we need to head over to Eliza next time on uh, Tactics Ogre and our Lotus, all the cutscenes. This has been David. Have a good day.